main line which was initiated in 1995 through the North Trail project. The revival of the North Main Line was intended to support the W Growth Corridor concept of North Luzon, specifically Central Luzon. We can ask PNR later to give an update on any other efforts to rehabilitate the North Main Line after the Shell project of the North Railway. At present, PNR operates a community commuter service between Tutuban and Santa Rosa Laguna and between Naga City and Sipokot Camarines Sur. Transport and logistics also play a key role in the growth of other sectors of the Philippine economy. The growing international trade highlighted the role of the services sector where transportation, communication, and storage sector is a major component. Rail services sector also provides significant employment opportunities to Filipinos. In 2010, around 15% of that 50, 36 million employed persons in the services sector were engaged in transportation communication and storage sector. This include the rail sector workers who are mainly involved in train operation, engineering operations, and other support services. Railways as a vital transportation component to an economy as well as these have the capacity to carry more people and goods and at least at lesser cost than other modes of transport supposed to be. <laughs> Railways promote economic development on a more balanced basis and hence promote inclusive growth. Hence, railways are an important component of the long-term transport infrastructure of an economy. However, railways require huge investments and are usually subsidized by government but the investment subsidy are justified because it is the lowest cost of transport for merchandise and passengers and benefits are dispersed to a wide geographic area covered by its route. Railways are superior to other modes of mass transportation and score positively over other competing modes by virtue of the minimal impact on environment and efficiency of land use Road transport is increasingly associated with pollution and global warming. In congested nations with large urban populations, like here in the Philippines, the effort to match road capacity with exponential growth of vehicular traffic will always be a challenge. Railways use less land than the road sector, less polluting, and can generate high capacity at that. The trend worldwide in railway system is towards heavy haul in freight, high speed in passenger services, and rail-based mass transit in urban transport. Most countries have either high speed rail networks or are building them already. We have a long way to go since we have yet to rehabilitate and modernize our existing railway systems. I also appreciate the role of railway system in bringing growth and development to our less developed areas in far-flung provinces. Regional connectivity should be a primary goal or consideration for us. We can learn a thing or two from India, which operates one of the biggest rail operations in the world. Their rail lines are run to serve the backward and less developed regions. It is undertaken based on socio-economic considerations, which are national and cultural integration, national development, and inclusive growth. On that note, let us start the hearing proper so we can further assess the importance of extending the corporate life of the Philippine National Railways. Okay, so uh, we now uh, listen to our general manager, Engineer Delay, to make the presentation of the Philippine National Railway based on its history, operation, finances, and development plan. Okay, so we now call on Engineer Delay.
Good afternoon, uh, Honorable uh, Chairman Senator Sosa Villar and Honorable uh, Senate President Pro Tempor uh, Rap Recto. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for this opportunity to present our request for the extension of PNR Charter, which will expire on June 20, 2014, two months from now. Uh, Railways have always been a catalyst for inclusive growth and the engine of economic development since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. The PNR, formerly known as uh, Perecoril, is a significant component of our nation's history. It started operations in 1892 and was primary mode of transportation patronized but by no less than our heroes, Dr. Rosarizal and General Emilio Aguinaldo. We believe that PNR, given a chance to be the progressive railway network that it was a vision to be, will not only provide affordable transportation for the masses, but in due time, we will be able to support the government in its uh, development projects by providing much needed farm to market linkages from the north as far as uh, La Union and from the south as far as uh, Sorsogon and Bicol and onward to Visayas and Mindanao. PNR can be the backbone of uh, countrywide development by providing a safe, efficient and affordable means of transportation for the people, goods and cargo. While our Asian neighbors are expanding their railway networks vigorously and are working closely to realize the Trans-Asia Railway connecting borders as part of the Asian integration, the PNR, through the support of the Senate, Congress, and uh, Executive, with a renewed chapter, is fully committed to our pursuit of uh, excellence and nationwide railway development. Madam Chairman, we respectfully seek your support for our charter extension for us to realize our dream as reflected in our vision of becoming progressive nationwide railway. Now may I uh, hand over the floor to my consultant, Tony Soriano, who will uh, make the actual presentation. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of PNR, may I present <clears throat> the case for the extension of the effectivity of Republic Act 4156. <clears throat> uh, the mandate of PNR is covered by three laws. Uh, the enabling law, Republic Act 4156, bestowed on PNR its 50 years of corporate life that began on June 20, 1964. The mandate of the law was to, for PNR to provide the public service of owning and operating a national rail service and related transportation system. And it will, have to ser and it will serve as a corporation and instrumentality of the Philippine government. Republic Act 6366 amended the enabling law on August 1971 and among others reiterated the role of PNR as being a part of the national government's infrastructure program. The third law, PD741, was amended in 1975, which, among others, reiterated the that the viability of PNR operations must be ensured by the national government to enable PNR to render the rail transport services for passengers and freight at the minimum prices possible. In the milestones of PNR history, we just want to go through this very briefly. Uh, to mention that PNR has already been in operation for about 120 years, starting from 1875. The heyday of PNR uh, happened till about 19, the decade of the 1970s, when during that time, uh, the Philippine government shifted its focus on roads. In 1977, uh, uh, the government awarded a toll road franchise to PNCC to construct the North Luzon Expressway, the South Luzon Expressway, and the Metro Manila Expressways, and a Pan-Philippine Highway to be built. These plans eventually relegated PNR into the background. Uh, 
Insofar as the highlights of PNR operations are concerned, at the peak of PNR operations in 1970s, PNR built and operated 1,143 kilometers of railways, spanning the provinces of Laguna, Quezon, Camarines Sur, Albay in the south, and Bulacan, Pampanga, Tarlac, Pangasinan, and La Union in the north with the spur line to San Jose, Nueva Ecija. PNR also operated a bus service as far as Apari and Cagayan from Baguio, Lawag, Inilocos, Baler, Matnog, and Tabaco, Albay. PNR also operated freight train services in the main line south, offering for bulk cargo most agricultural products and consumer goods. In 2013, we served about 20 million passengers running about, averaging about 55,400 uh, commuters daily uh, for our uh, uh, Metro Manila commuter line, compared to about 7.3 million passengers in 2010. Today, which is uh, 2014, we are running about 100,000, uh, 180 to 100,000 to 100, uh, passengers per day. Yes. Uh, I'll just go through this very briefly. The organization chart is shown here. And basically, we have about 1,200 personnel, of which about uh, 1,200 job order personnel which are already on contract mm -hmm. and we only have about 237 full-time personnel in the plantilla. Let us look at the railway system. At the height of the PNR operations in the 70s, the railway system, as I had mentioned, spanned as far north uh, in La Union to as far south uh, in uh, Legaspi and uh, southwards. Uh, at present, however, we are limited to operating the Metro Manila commuter line, which runs uh, an operation from Tutuban to Santa Rosa. Recently, we inaugurated a service to Mamatic, a uh, total route length of about 50 kilometers. We are already carrying about 100,000 passengers uh, to date. The train service to Bicol uh, was in operation in the past. Uh, it was suspended in October 2012, but uh, we plan to resume the service uh, by September 2014 with a test run by June 2014. Uh, the reason for the uh, delay in being able to uh, re restore the train service is because of the, the damage uh, that was caused to three bridges in Ilao, uh, Tabag, and uh, in Sariaya, Quezon. Uh, in addition to the two, uh, in addition to the Metro Manila commuter line, we also operate a commuter line from Naga to Sipokot, which is a distance of about 35 kilometers. Now let's look at the existing uh, a railway without tracks. This is the North Line, which is not in operation. Okay. Now this is the entire line, the map of the entire line, which again spans uh, the Manila South Line from uh, Manila up to Legaspi. So you will see from here till there. Okay. This is uh, a line with existing tracks and which, uh, as we had mentioned, we will, re we will resume the Bicol line sometime in September, which is uh, what everybody has been asking about. Uh, I will just go through the brief uh, operational highlights. We make about 200 million in 200 million in uh, real revenue, and we make another 160 to 180 million in rentals or non-real revenue from PNR assets. We normally uh, we normally uh, book about a deficit of about uh, 200 to 300 million, which is provided to us by government in the form of a subsidy. In addition to the subsidy, we used to pay the debt on foreign loans, which we incurred to be able to uh, rehab uh, rehabilitate the system. Uh, in so far as the importance of railways to economic development, uh, the Honorable Chairperson has already mentioned what we believe uh, is an essential argument in our case. Can you imagine an economy without railway services? That is the basic uh, question. All developed economies, including the American economy, was built on the business spread out by the railroad. This was how the industrial age prospered. Today, we have leapfrogged to the age of technology, but the demands of industry 
still require that mass transport of people and goods be delivered at the lowest cost. And this is where railways come in. As the good senator or chairman had mentioned, railways contribute to economic growth. They are a vital transportation component of any economy. They are superior to other modes of mass transport in the use of land and the uh, friendliness to the environment. And uh, one important consideration here which I'd like to mention is the Rail Connectivity Index, which is basically a ratio that shows uh, the root kilometers of railway in a, in a country per million population. You will see that in all developed economies, in the US, France, Germany, Russia, Japan, Malaysia, even India, which is 64,000 root kilometers of, of rail, the ratio is generally above 50. The USA is a ratio about 747 in terms of railroad connectivity. Well, the Philippines is a very low connectivity of about 5.5. Uh, in assume ko na lang po yung Legaspi uh, Bicol line natin is about 700 kilometers and then we we divide it by 92 million population. So, uh, population so that gives you a good idea of what is existing or service uh, through pero hindi naman ginagamit yun eh di ba ay yung Bicol po it's uh, is it running right now it is not running right now we intend to resume the correct, operations correct, po by correct. September yes, so it's much lower than that because well, if you look at the height, because we're only running about 50 kilometers oh, right correct. now, Mr. Senator, yes, correct. that's right. Metro so Manila. you started with 1,100 kilometers. Ito po, meron pa ako isang, oh, meron pa ako isang ratio dito, root kilometers per square kilometers. Ang Pilipinas po, 300,000 square kilometers. Eh. So if my computation is correct, we are 0 0.0016 in terms of root kilometers per square kilometers of rail. India po, India po has a, uh, 19. And India is 64,000 root kilometers. If you see the map of uh, railways in India, it goes left to right, north to south. Eh. And as we had mentioned, the case for Indian railways, they build railways not because of the financial return, po, but because of the socio-economic consideration of uh, connectivity. So ito pong another important consideration to uh, a value is demand for transport is directly and positively correlated to GDP growth. In developing economies, the elasticity of transport to GDP is 1.25. This means that GDP growth of 9% would translate to an increase in demand for transport by 11%. So in the Philippines, if we're increasing by about 6%, the demand for transport should be about 8.5%. But how much of this growth is captured by railways depends on the capacity and the quality of the railway infrastructure and services that government will put in. And this is where investment in railway infrastructure is important. And this is where the government's role as an enabler and promoter of inclusive growth has to come in. Uh, can I make a question? How did yes, you get 5.5? Yung root kilometers lang po natin divided by 92 million on the average. Uh, we came up to about 700, 700 divided 700. by 92 million. Nadagdagan po yung 700 kasi dinagdag namin yung... And that is why I'm saying, uh, Madam Chairman, that the number is much lower than that because they're only operating... 50 yes, kilometers and not right 700. We are only 50, uh, but I'm, we're being generous because the railway still exists. Yes, Bob. Okay, I cannot imagine how you ah, get 700 divided by 50. I'm just looking at it. 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 I'm Dali lang po. Opo, hindi po. Kaya nga, yung, yung usable po ang ginawa namin. Dahil, yung, oh, divided by 92. Oh, mga 6 po, mga gano'n. Oh, mga 600. Opo, 9. Opo, mga gano'n nga po. Less than 700. Okay. But basically, it's really a consideration of what's existing, uh, what's existing on the Bicol line. Uh, whether it's single track, we consider route kilometers, not round trip. Eh. Yung po ang basic parameter. Apa. So, uh, what else? Uh, ito po. So, basically, if we summarize the case in terms of major observations, ang PNR po uh, has been subsidized for 
years because of the nature of its operations and its fare is the lowest, it's only 10 pesos. Uh, we, we also endeavor to say that the, the fare that PNR charges at 10 pesos is the lowest cost of mass transport today. The next lowest cost is either you ride a bicycle or you walk. Because po ang jeep at saka ang, ang bus po ay 2 pesos per kilometer ang fare matrix po nila. Uh, the other observation here is the subsidy on debt, as you, as you noticed, from 2010 to 2013, uh, PNR's debt... Ano yung sinabi mo before, na mas pinakamura ang railway? Ano, uh, we are the lowest cost of mass transport. Oh, okay. Because of 10 pesos po, which is 71 centavos per kilometer. So po. from Tutuban to... Uh, Santa Tutuban Rosa. to... Hindi po, ang, ang 10 pesos po will get you from Tutuban. <coughs> Tutuban to Santa Mesa. Po. So per kilometer, yun per kilometer yun. translates to 71 centavos. Po. 71 centavos. And we have so not increased our fare in two decades. So, magkano hanggang Santa Rosa from Tutuban? 25 pesos po. Ah, 25. Yes, ma'am. How come? Uh, your question is how come the fare has not been increased? Hindi, how ah. come 25 pesos, sabi mo, uh, Ilan? Centavos per 71 centavos. Ang kinuha ko po dyan, yung 10 pesos, saka yung distance lang. Santa so, 71 times 50, yun ang sinasabi mo, 35 pesos, ganun ba yan? Uh, pag, kinuha mo mo, pag kinuha mo po yung long distance, mas mura pa nga sa 71. Eh. Ang 71 centavos is 10 pesos for the minimum distance, which is Santa Mesa. Kung ilan po yung kilometro nyo nang ginamit ko sa computation, which turns out at 71, it's still a lot cheaper, 50%, less than 50% cheaper than... Anong jeep? At 2 pesos per kilometer po ang fare matrix nila sa LTFRB. So, ang succeeding nila ay so, nandito po sa... Ito po, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung slide ng fare matrix. Uh, Ba't hindi ka magtaas? Eh, actually, yun po ang plano namin. <laughs> to get a permit to bring it higher? Or uh, it's your discretion? Ma'am, in railway, a DOTC is our de facto regulator. We don't have an LTFR before. So, ibig sabihin, if, if your rate is like that and it's much lower than uh, jeepney, yes, you cannot apply for uh, a higher, race, rate? higher rate para less than subsidy ng government? Actually, ma'am, uh, that is what we plan to do. But Why uh, are you not doing it? Ma'am, ma pinasasubsidize nyo sa government. We only came on board, ma'am, six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's our plan to increase the pay. That's That's it. It. But it's a subsidy sa kanila ng government. Yes, ma'am. At least within market, di ba? I mean, if if that's the competition, eh, pantay lang sa competition. Why will you be lower than competition, di ba? Masama naman yung higher than competition, but at least near your competition. Yes, ma'am. That is uh, a consideration that we have already on the planning board. So the other observation we have in this slide is that no new foreign loans and improvement to PNR real infrastructure have been concluded in the recent four years. If you notice, the debt has been, uh, debt payments have been decreasing. So no new loans have been inked in the recent years uh, to be able to add to the rehabilitation infrastructure. So we believe the Philippines needs to catch up and revive investment in railway infrastructure in order to promote more inclusive growth. Uh, however, investments in rail infrastructure have to be sustained by government for railway services to improve. Yeah. Uh, Madam Chair, just a few questions on that slide. Ah, yes, ma'am. Uh, the subsidy you're talking about is subsidy on the debt or on the operations? On both. Po. So both. Both you subsidize ng government sa PNR. on the debt, on the debt, Yes, sir. At the same time on the operations. Yes, sir. Plus CAPEX pa. Ah, uh, so po, meron hong subsidy rin sa CAPEX. Depends on the so subsidies uh, lahat. Request with D DBM po. Pero they they bring it down eh, basically. Mm -hmm. They would uh, evaluate the CAPEX mm -hmm. ca projects that need to be the amount of cash subsidy. Okay. In the uh, case of that, uh, Mr. Senator, uh, Mr. Chairman, the the, the Bureau of Treasury uh, pays for the loans of PNR directly. It's a pass-through arrangement which does not go through our books. We just simply book it now as our obligation to the Bureau of Treasury. That's why you have an account in the balance sheet, Bureau of Treasury. So incidentally, we now uh, go to the present case where the corporate life of PNR will expire on June 20, 2014, and we humbly request the honorable members to extend. An anong mangyayari pag hindi in-extend yung PNR? 
Under the law po, Republic Act 4156, we go into a mandated three-year uh, liquidation period. Ibig sabihin? Ibig sabihin po, uh, may magsisipulturero po ng assets ng PNR. Ibebenta lahat ng assets ng PNR? Uh, liquidation po has procedures and uh, basically mm. the law simply says that the mm. procedures of liquidation will have to be uh, mm. followed including hierarchy of credit payments, okay. hierarchy of debt payments. I will have further questions, Madam Chair, on uh, yes, this sir. issue as well later on, but please continue with yes, your presentation. Yes. Uh, so, ang request po namin, basically, if uh, we look at how the law was crafted, is to extend the effectivity of the Republic Act for another 50 years, doing nothing else, in order for PNR to continue with the performance of its mandate. Uh, in this case, extending the effectivity of the law uh, extends PNR's corporate life and Ex automatically extends its franchise to operate the railroad. I have summarized the legal basis why the effectivity of the enabling law should be extended by 50 years. I had mentioned Republic Act 4156 where the mandate that was bestowed was to provide a nationwide railroad and transportation system for 50 years. Ang pagkakasabi po sa batas ay to succeed, to acquire, to maintain and operate such grants, concessions, and franchises as are now held and enjoyed by the said Manila Railroad Company at that time. Now, the Republic Act 6366, which amended the enabling law, emphasized further that PNR must be administered with the end in view of serving the interests of the public, and this can only be done by continuing the corporate existence of PNR. The third law, PD 741, reiterated that the viability of its operation must be ensured. Ang financial basis naman, ang socio-economic benefit naman po, we just summarized it in the in the uh, matters mentioned earlier that the transport per he uh, by heavy rail is still the cheapest form of mass transport today. Ang fare matrix po ng jeep is 8 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and 140 for succeeding kilometer. And for the bus, it's 10 pesos for the first 5 kilometers and 185 for succeeding. At the rate that PNR charges, the next cheapest form of commuter transport is to ride a bicycle or to walk. We uh, transported 55,000 commuters uh, in 2013. Today, which is barely a year later, we, are now do we now double the capacity. We call it crash capacity at about 100,000 commuters per day. I made a simple computation of the effect on productivity. If we transport 55,000 commuters a day and they earn a minimum wage of 400 pesos, that, that is a, an impact to the economy of 22 million per day in terms of productivity, or 8.8 .8 billion per year, which is equivalent to about 0.5% of national GDP. So if we transport double the amount of passengers at 100,000, the nominal impact to national GDP is already 1% at current prices. This does not yet count the impact to the southern provinces when the rail service to Bicol is permanently restored. Anticipated revival of rail service to Bicol will transport passengers with about 100,000 rides <coughs> yearly and translate to economic benefit to these passengers who generally come from the lowest CND class. This is where we talk about spreading the growth to the countryside. On a macroeconomic view, Government is able to propagate the benefits of economic development to the countryside with its continued investments in PNR rail operations. Financial implications to the national government. While we acknowledge there is subsidy, uh, as we had mentioned, most railroads all over the world are provided subsidy, but in India, they call the subsidy more like an investment because, <clears throat> because it is an investment in uh, connectivity and it is an investment in cultural integration according to the uh, railway Vision 2020 of the Indian Rail. So in 2013, uh, PNR received a total amount of about 260 million subsidy for operations, plus depreciation 170 to 23. So we have computed a subsidy here of about 32 pesos per PNR passenger, which is still less than the subsidy that uh, I would compute on the same basis for LRTA. LRTA, uh, hindi po MRT, LRTA, which is about 36 pesos, or 37. 37 mm, Mga ganun po siguro, uh, less than 40. Ang computation po ni Pino is, uh, Presidente Aquino, sa, so, sa zona niya, parang mga uh, close to 40 nga po ang binanggit niya yata sa zona. 
But in that aspect, we should compare how they compute their subsidy and how we compute our subsidy para... Wala ano, po si yes, sir. Um, you I have to find out how to compute that. their subsidy and how we compute our subsidy. Apa. Kasi baka mamaya naman, eh, hindi naman pareho ang measure ng subsidy. Apa. So, we want to know because yes, we just have to accept uh, the real figures, no? Yes, As it means, it's a matter of uh, how you compute sa, your subsidy. Eh. Sa MRT po, ang sin is 60 pesos. So if uh, the rider pays 15, the subsidy of the government is 45. That seems to be more like the real fare because in Singapore, the minimum fare is about a dollar and ten. Dollar and twenty po yata. But remember, in a foreign country, the uh, no, the labor is higher. The labor cost is higher. So we cannot compare with foreign mm -hmm. country. Maybe a good indicator would be we compare the bus, the jeepney, the train, and the LRT. Mm -hmm. Because we cannot compare with foreign countries because uh, they pay better wages there than us. So... I looked at the financial implications of the government on the flip side. If we will not extend the corporate life of PNR, there will be a resultant termination of PNR rail operations, which will lead to its mandated liquidation by law. PNR's foreign loans carry sovereign guarantees, about five loans. Since the government presently pays for the PNR foreign debt when due under a pass-through arrangement with the Bureau of Treasury, government will lose the future opportunity to financially rehabilitate PNR and invite private capital into PNR if it will end up in liquidation. And liquidation, finally, is always financially tedious for government. Now, ito pong next slide, this is where, uh, we, ha are tr uh, where uh, we are arguing the case for the effectivity of the effectivity of the law also automatically extends the PNR franchise. If you look at, uh, Madam Chairman, the the way the law was crafted, RA 4156, we quote, the PNR was empowered to acquire and hold the assets of the defunct Manila Railroad and to succeed to, to acquire, to maintain and operate such grants, concessions and franchises as are now held and enjoyed by the said Manila Railroad Company. This was written in June 20, 1964. Fifty years later, we are now faced with the expiry of the effectivity of the law. But in the principle of statutory construction, we quote that uh, the verbal uh, legis rule, if the statute is clear, plain, and free from ambiguity, it must be given its literal meaning and applied without interpretation. So, ang samin po is that while the law is very clear that when the law was enacted and uh, PNR was given its mandate to operate the railroad, the franchise was already imbued or built into the law. In addition, under the principle of statutory construction in the law, notwithstanding, if there is ambiguity, it is not the letter, but rather the spirit of the law and intention of the legislature that is important, and we believe that that was the intent of the legislature when they crafted the law. So what was the intent? To, uh, to give birth to PNR and at the same time imbue, imbue on it the franchise to operate the railroad for 50 years. Correct. So, so tapos na tayo, June 2014, di ba? And that's why we're discussing this, to extend it by another 50 years. Kaya, kaya ko lang po nabanggit kasi uh, meron pong isang, isang view sa house na kailangan pa rin kami mag-apply ng franchise pag na-extend ng franchise. Ah, hindi. Hindi naman kaya, pinag -usap. This is not a franchise. Lang. This is a charter. Yep, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Meron po kasing nag, okay. nagsulat sa amin ng ganun. Kaya sinagot okay. na lang namin, nagbigay kami ng okay. comment. Yes, sir. How long will your presentation take? Ito na po. Patapos na. Patapos uh, na. Ito lang po. Papakita lang namin yung vision namin. Just in okay. case tanongin ninyo. Ano ba ang plano? Ang PNR vision po in so many words is... Uh, under the present GM, the PNR seeks to be a sustainable railway system provider of railway transport services, expanding its rail network to move goods and people at the most efficient, mm -hmm. lowest cost, in a financially responsible and transparent manner through partnerships with and or investment from the private sector. Ang mission, po na, ang mission naman po dyan is to implement plans and programs that will improve operational efficiency, cost efficiency, in order to move the people and cargo with, at the cheapest cost. Ito po ang plans and programs naman so that uh, we would like to look at improving rail services and under that 
program, it's, we really want to migrate from manual to automatic kasi po malaking fair leakage talaga na nakita namin. Eh. Kasi po yung manual ticketing dito, para yung nanonood kayo ng sine noong 1960 pa. Kuha kayo ng kapirasong papel. Wala pong turnstile, so people can just walk in. Ang naging, ang naging, ang naging very obvious observation po dito, dahil manual nga, eh yung tao po bibili ng ticket ng 10 pesos, pero sasakay hanggang dulo sa Santa Rosa. In the hope na hindi siya ma-discover. Kasi po, ang titingin lang naman, manual, eh, mga konduktor, eh, inside the coach. Eh. Pag hindi siya na-discover, he was able to ride for 25 pesos. Uh, improvement in non-rail revenues, basically we want to database the system for lands so that we can monitor compliance with rentals and uh, properly uh, arrange rentals according to uh, uh, current and existing procedures. No? Improvement of cost efficiency, we have outsourced most of the job or, uh, services that can be job outsourced. No? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Yes, ma Those are improvements that you want to make. Can yes, you give us an idea of the Cost. amount of investment that that would entail, each improvement? So we will have an idea. Because if uh, it's something that's small and affordable and the benefit is very real, then it can be implemented right away, di ba? Para yung choice mo nang gagawin, di ba? So maybe you can have... Uh, an estimate of cost, like for example, yung automatic <coughs> fare collection, magkano ba ang makukuha mo dyang uh, uh, benefit and magkano ba investment dyan. Tingin ko hindi masyadong mahal yan eh. So, we just have to enumerate this, your plans, and how much will it cost and ano yung immediate benefit. So, maybe we can implement yung mga immediate in case your charter is ano, approved, di ba? Oo. Uh, Pwede bang gawin nyo yon? Kasi I'm sure, uh, huwag natin ubusin ang panahon natin na puro salita. Uh, lagyan natin ng amount. Kasi para kung mura lang and then malaki ang benefit, then automatically we can implement, di ba? So we can have a choice. Meron na po kaming ganyang CAPEX program. Okay, so program. pwede ba padala nyo sa yes, amin yon? So we, we will have an idea of what, what are the available options for improvement. Yes, ma uh, Madam Chair, if I may add to what you said, um, it is an opportunity right now because we're talking about the extension of the franchise of PNR, which I support, and that's why I filed this bill. And I know that the chairman of the committee is supportive of this measure, and that's why she's having a hearing today. Now, there's an opportunity for us to include additional capital in this measure. So unless you provide us with these figures, we will not be able to do so. Diba? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, are you through with your presentation? Uh, meron lang po ko isang slide na gusto ipakita. Well, we have projections for the next 10 years, but I guess the, the projections basically just indicate that uh, we really need to be subsidized by government to the tune of about 500 million a year until we are able to financially rehabilitate so we can uh, invite uh, foreign, uh, I mean, a private, private capital into, into the structure. But uh, I'd like to mention this slide before, before, I go, uh, before I end the presentation, which is basically why we believe that the franchise should be extended for 50 years. Uh, the corporate life of PNR created by Republic Act 4156 uh, gave it a corporate life of 50 years. Normally, SEC gives corporations a life of 50 years to undertake their business. And PNR is a government-owned corporation and or instrumentality. Secondly, a government franchise and concessions are at least 25 years and above. The PNCC franchise was 30 years. The PAGCOR franchise is 25 years from July 11, 1983, and was renewed in year 2008 for another 25 years. Since PNR is mandated to operate a nationwide transport system, a 50-year corporate life is necessary for the PNR to perform its mandate. Uh, fourth, railway projects require substantial investments and require a long-term view. We had mentioned uh, the view in countries like India where they view the, 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 uh, the money they put in rail not as a subsidy but as, a, but as an investment. And on that basis, uh, uh, I would like to just summarize that uh, the Philippine government should view itself as an enabler of inclusive long-term growth and uh, railways disperse economic development and promote inclusive growth. And on that basis, uh, we would like to end our presentation, Madam Chairman. Thank you.
Thank you very much. And now we go to the question and answer portion. Well, we would like to uh, give uh, Senator Recto uh, the, the first chance to ask questions from our panel. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, my first question would be to DOTC. Ang PNR nasa ilalim ng DOTC? Yes, sir. Huh? Okay. Uh, since when? Uh, I don't have the exact uh, year, sir, but uh, I know it's been for uh, quite quite a number of years already. Po. Okay. Uh, I can give you, sir, the data. Yes. Once I'd like to ask the DOTC, are you aware na matatapos na ba yung franchise ng PNR in two months' time? Yes, sir. We are. We are, are aware. aware po. Okay. How come you've never come to Congress to ask for the extension of the franchise? Sir, um, as far as I know, I came in as uh, the DLLO um, uh, only uh, late last year. I, from what I have been informed from my predecessor, this has been, uh, the measure has been pushed since the start of the 16th Congress, uh, which is why I think at present, uh, the HOR is, has already deliberated it uh, uh, on second reading, and I think it, it's going to be heard already on third reading. Uh, that's, that's as far, sir, I, as I know. I am not so, sure about that statement, Assistant the, Secretary, because I've been, I have been pushing, <clears throat> I've been uh, defending the budget of the DOTC for several years now. And we filed this bill even without the DOTC coming to see us asking for an extension. In fact, until now, your secretary has not called me or called the chairman of the committee pushing for the extension of the PNR. The reason why I ask this is this, is simply this, no? Interesado ba ang executive branch na i-extend ang franchise ng PNR or extend its charter or may balak ba kayong iba tungkol dito? Sir, we are we are very interested in extending the charter of the PNR. So you are uh, interested. And, yes, sir. That and and that has been the directive uh, of the secretary. Of the secretary. Yes, sir. Are you yes. sure about that? Yes, sir. I am very sure about that. Okay. Uh, have you discussed with the general manager and the team in the PNR what they plan to do? Because they made the presentation between now until 2016. And I think they have another plan, a 10-year plan, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, what would be the investments needed? Napag-usapan na ba ninyo yan? Sir, um, as far as the DOTC is concerned, um, there have been talks with the PNR um, on how to improve the infrastructure, uh, the current infrastructure of the PNR um, under, a, uh, under the PPP mode. As far as the financial... Um, rehabilitation of the P of the PNR is concerned. Uh, while there have been um, uh, uh, beginning discussions, uh, there has not been any, uh, 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 there, there is still um, an ongoing thorough review of that together so with, we, the hopefully beginning with the discussions. Uh, hopefully with the DOF. So I, th I suppose that the reason why you have these beginning discussions is because there are bills filed in both chambers of Congress. I would imagine, sir, that they, of Diba? course, it's related. Oh, yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. So, maliwanag na apparently parang napabayaan ng PNR. I mean, 50 years na ang franchise ng PNR, right? Here we are talking about extending the franchise. We started with a rail line of 1,100 plus kilometers. Today, you're operating 50 kilometers only. And we have not heard anything from the DOTC on what you plan to do as far as PNR is concerned. We hear some plans with the MRT and the LRT. We have not se seen anything off the ground. And here you have a situation that the PNR in two months' time, tapos na yung charter. Nima? Is someone minding the store? That's the point. Sir, I think um, as far as the DOTC is concerned, um, uh, it, it's not a matter of, uh, uh, I think it, it, it isn't a question of naging pabaya po ang, ang, ang DOTC about it. Palagay ko um, naging pabaya eh, dahil kung halimbawa lang, 50 taon na ang PNR under DOTC, 
nagumpisa tayo 1,100 kil- uh, kilometers mula La Union hanggang Legaspi. Ngayon, you're only operating from Tutuban to Santa Rosa. E ano nangyari? So, it would appear that PNR is a failure. 50 years after 1964. But we know the importance of our railroad infrastructure and that's why we filed this bill. And we're trying to look, ano ba nangyari? What happened here? How can we improve this moving forward? I think th- there is definitely a need to extend the charter of the PNR. There's no doubt about that. But I've not seen in any of your plans, well, in PPP na nabanggit kanina, Uh, there is no plan as far as PPP and the PNR is concerned as of the moment. It's not in any list. Sir, there is a, uh, I, I know of two specifically big PPP projects mm. that are in the pipeline. It's the North-South uh, Commuter Railway System and the Integrated uh, Luzon Railway Project. And that, um, that is all PNR? That is PNR, sir. Oh. That is all PNR. There are two. Uh, main projects, and uh, I think they, they, they involve substantial amounts of, of oh. money, of investment. Oh. Engineer, when did this begin? When did these talks begin? I've not seen any. Oh. Uh, you don't know. Uh, mm. uh, I think uh, the OTC, they just recently uh, declared this uh, project as under PNR. On the record, another uh, year, Any representative from NADA? Well, I don't see anyone, yeah. Uh, anyway, sir, uh, for the record, uh, when they uh, started the study of this uh, PPP and this uh, north-south commuter hmm. by JICA, they don't even categorically mention it will be under PNR. They still hanging on there until The last minute, maybe uh, last two weeks ago, <laughs> NEDA was the one who decided it should be in under PNR because DOTC has no uh, capability on railway operations. That is uh, written in the letter of NEDA. Yeah, in that okay. connection, uh, Senator yes. Rick, uh, we saw in the website of the PPP Center, hindi galing sa kanila, And in news reports, the government is having the feasibility study of the integrated Luzon Lake Railway prepared by CPCS Transcon Limited of Canada. And uh, we want to know if it's finished and what is in the feasibility study. Uh, siguro ito hihingi natin sa DOTC and the PPP Center. Hmm. Oh, kasi nabasa lang namin to sa website pero wala talagang silang sinasabi na sa amin. Oh, in fact, hmm. I agree with you, Senator Recto, never pumunta kayo sa amin ang DOTC para kausapin kami tungkol sa PNR franchise, kami lang ang nag-volunteer na ihiri ito nung malaman ko na mag, uh, mag, uh, ano to, mag-expire sa June. Kasi baka naman, uh, sabi niya sa akin, why are you hearing it? Baka naman kami masisi na pina-expire namin. Ay, ayaw na naming masisi. Marami nang sumisi sa Senado. So, kahit na hindi kayo interesado on our own, We we ano we oh, oh, we made this yes. hearing on our own. Wala wala miskisa sa DOTC. Wala oh, naman lumapit sa amin. Oh, wala, eh. wala, wala, wala. That is true. Oh, wala. Uh, In fact, uh, hirap na hirap pa ako sa PNR kasi pag nagre-review kami ng financial, hirap na hirap sila inexplain kasi they came into the picture five months ago, six months ago. Exactly. Hindi nga nila maintindihan yung mga financials uh-huh. nila. Eh. Kaya, uh-huh. nung nagpiprepare kami sa hearing, hirap na hirap uh-huh. kami kasi hindi nila ma-explain because sasabihin nila they came in five months yeah. ago or six yeah. months ago. So, I'm also surprised na yung DOTC, uh, parang wala silang pakialam. I mean, it's, it's, it's your feeling and my feeling. That's why you're mm. asking me. Gusto, in fact, ba question of everybody, gusto nyo ba i-renew yung franchise o gusto nyo na i-liquidate ang PNR? Mm. Uh, yun ang tanong ng lahat kasi walang interest whatsoever. 
Uh, could you answer that question? Yeah. Of course, sir. Uh, I reiterate that uh, the DOTC of, is interested in, uh, in renewing, renewing extending, extending the franchise, sir. Extending and the charter. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the charter. Um, okay. Um, we so, have wala we, kayong we, balak we, ibenta yung mga lupa? Um, Liquidation, eh. If no. we do not extend this, magbebentahan yan, di ba? Yeah. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, that so, is wala the necessary balak. effect. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, you're not no, also planning to sell this to the private sector para private ang gumawa? Um, that is not, at least at this point in time, part of the plan. So that is not part of the plan? Yes, sir, at this point in By time. By extending the charter of the PNR, does that mean that they're open to joint ventures? Um, we are exploring every every possible means mm. um, by which we can improve the services of okay, the PNR. So it could open up to the yes, possibility yes, of sir. PPP. Oh with yes, the sir. PNR. Most definitely, sir. Most okay. definitely. In fact, oh, sir, yes. the two projects that I mentioned, mm. uh, we envision it to be really under the uh, under the PPP uh, mm. program as a uh, PPP mode. Okay. Just for confirmation, with the Department of Finance. We have a representative from the finance department. Yes. Uh, uh, are you aware that the PNR's charter would expire? Ito ba na pag-usapan na ninyo in the Department of Finance? Actually, we are preparing a regarding the extension of uh, PNR's corporate life. One of the comments in the the. Um, what was presented in the Congress was the inclusion of the uh, increasing ca authorized capitalization of mm -hmm. PNR. But it's being reviewed by our principal. Okay. How position. long will it take for you to get back to the committee to advise us on the, necess the necessity of increasing capitalization or not as far as the PNR is concerned? Um, Maybe in a week's time. In a week's time, you could because do the we have we have to check the outstanding liability with. Hey, uh, we know the outstanding liability. It's twenty-two billion, and uh, they're paying interest on that. You cannot come back next week because we are filing the bill on May five, which is next week. Because if we don't file the bill, we cannot hope to finish this by the end of the month, and that is the deadline. We will be staying in the Senate just for one month this this mm, uh ano, and then we go on recess if we go on recess we cannot find anybody to pass this bill uh -huh. so it, it cannot be we'll file the bill on on may 6 on may 5 and i will sponsor it on may 6 mm. so uh, may 5 is monday uh, so we have to make the bill by monday pasayan mm. sa committee mm. members and i have to sponsor it mm. on the floor on may 6 that's the instruction of the senate president otherwise we cannot hope to pass this in this yeah. session because we'll my, be ending yeah. our session by the end of the month yes. my advice to the uh, department of finance is to discuss this with your secretary and to have some urgency on the measure no uh -huh. Para pag-usapan na natin, precisely, magkano ba ang kailangan ng PNR? Huh? Do you want to extend it? How much resources are we willing to commit to it, if necessary? Di ba? Hmm. May advances kayo sa PNR na 22 billion. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yun right. na lang ang laman ng PNR. <laughs> oh, at kaya nakakabayad lang ng utang ang PNR because you're advancing the money. Otherwise, mm -hmm. even their operations, uh, yung kanilang operating expenses is double than their revenues. So, mm -hmm. meron na silang utang mm -hmm. sa operations, may utang pa sila sa debt. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep, I, I, uh, and, I, yes. and uh, they're subsidizing PNR on the tune of 500 million a year. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> reviewin nyo to. Kasi if you want to make an, an, an uh, input dun sa bill, you have to make it this way. Because we're filing the bill uh, sa lunes. Mm. And we'll do that. Yes. Yeah, uh, Madam Chair, and I, I would like not now to go to the financial statement of the PNR. No? Uh, I, I, I'd like to find out. I, I saw an entry here, revaluation. Evaluate, revaluation surplus. You did a revaluation in 2012. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong no? uh, on my appreciation. 
the value of PNR today, total assets, liabilities, and equities, 52 billion. Huh? Tama yan, ha? 2013, no? 52.8. Okay? Ang liability is about 26 billion. Okay? Ang revaluation sa lupa lang, 39 billion. Okay? 39 billion. Lupa lang to o kasama na yung truck dito, kasama na yung property plant? Uh, our understanding based on the audit report was only land was revalued. Only the land. Yes, and uh, the evaluation so the basis asset, was... The biggest yes. asset of DNR <coughs> is the land holdings. Yes, Mr. Okay. And the land holdings were valued in this case at zonal because the appraisal was done uh, internally uh, in view of the... Internal... So, organization revaluation, no? Uh, P uh, PNR's valuation po, based on zonal. Kasi po, if based we on zonal. We understand that uh, when this was done in 2012, if they had to hire an external appraiser, it would cost millions eh, mm. to value this land. From okay. the whole of Luzon. So, PNR lang ang gumawa ng revaluation na to? Yes, sir. Okay. So, 39 billion. Okay. Then, I notice in your income statement, yung income statement nyo, Ang loss nyo in 2013, 491 million. Ah, nabanggit mo kanina that your subsidy na hinihingi ninyo is roughly 500 million a year. Tama po ba yan? Ang kinita nyo last year, 400 million. Average of 0.71 centavos per kilometer. Tama? Okay. Kung dodobli ninyo yun, o 150, hindi na ninyo kailangan ng subsidy. Ganun ka simple yung numero dito eh. Kung dodoblehin po ang fair matrix oh, kanya. Instead, o lang, sa ilagyan natin hindi 70, gawin mo 150. Bawi na. Ang 71 centavos ko kasi, it is the cost of the uh, fare per kilometer on the minimum fare of 10 pesos. If you extend it up to Alabang, the cost correct, will correct. be lower than 71. Correct. Yes. Ulitin ko lang ha. I'm just looking at your financial statement. Ha? On your income statement. Revenue mo 401. Expense mo, 892. Net loss mo, 491. Then you have other expenses, no? Uh, but having said that, if you double your revenue, halos bawi mo na yung expenses mo. So, imbes sa 70, 140, 150 mo na. Mas mababa ka pa rin sa jeep. Di ba? Um, kasi lang eh. Senator oh. Recto, can I interest? Yes, please. Sir. Kasi I analyzed their, ano eh, their finances over a period of four years. Uh, pag lumadami ang revenues, lumadami din yung expenses. Parang hindi, hindi siya, di ba, pag dumadami ang pasahero, dapat ko konti ang expenses per passenger because uh, may economies of scale. Sa kanila, lalo yata lumalaki expenses pag dumadami ang ano. Kaya it doesn't follow rin yung, halimbawa, in-increase ang revenues, eh, uh, magbe-break even. I mean, we have to be careful with that because as an analyze them, I was telling them there's something wrong because alam ko, pag dumadami pa sa hero, tapos may portion ka na fixed expenses, pag uh, dumami pa sa hero mo, dapat yung, yung cost mo per passenger bumababa. That Sila may tendency pa tumaas eh. Uh, palagay ko that is a management issue eh. Yeah, yeah, that's and why. Then, Kaya that's nga, right. yeah. uh, it, it doesn't really follow. Uh -huh. Pero tama ka doon na kung ang cost nila is double the revenues, pag dinoble mo revenues, break even sila. It should break so, even. At least, at least sa correct. operations. Correct. And then, isasubsidize na lang ni government yung payment ng loans nyo, di ba? That's precisely oh. the point. Ganun naman ang nangyayari sa MRT at LRT eh. Meron nung difference sa M oh. MRT at LRT at saka sa PNR eh. Meron pong hidden consideration called leakage. Dahil po we are uh, yun nga, yeah, manual mal system Mas, mas po malaki ang leakage din nyo. Yun ang lumalaki problema. rin po leakage uh -huh. habang lumalaki ang number of passengers. Uh -huh. correct, dahil correct. po ang sistema is really very manualized. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Yes ma'am. Ma Yun po ang dahilan kung bakit. Madami passenger nyo, hindi kayo, ah, yes, wala kayong economy of scale. Nagkakaroon po ng diseconomy of scale. Kaya tinatanong ko sa inyo, kaya nga tinatanong ko, magkano ba yung i-implement yung anong yun? Kung, kasi kung mura lang yun, you should implement that kasi mm. <laughs> ano gagawin natin sa inyo, mm. di ba? If they don't implement that, mm. di talagang lokohan lang yung anong yan, yung mm. negosyong yan, di ba? Mm. No, no. You have to tell us how much is that kasi kung maliit lang yon, then you mm. should implement that. Nakita nyo na pala problema nyo, but hindi nyo pa ginawa. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, uh, we request uh, give, uh, especially me because it's a really a management uh, problem. Uh, I would like to uh, pardon me. Uh, I have to request for a uh, uh, give me time to, because we are still now on the, we are still now, especially my, myself as a newly appointed GM, uh, I'm still studying the... Sorry, their expenses should not go up that much. Eh? Yeah, but I agree, man, with you, and I'm well noted. So... Okay. Ang, ang ayaw natin mangyari dito is we extend the corporate life. And maybe 50 years from now, I don't expect to be alive by then, <laughs> that PNR is still a failure. Uh, huh? Yan ang ayaw natin mangyari dito. Huh? More so today that we know the value and the importance of railway. No? Let me cite to you just a few other items, and I, I will be done, uh, Madam Chair. I have here the key indicators, Global Competitiveness Index. Huh? The most problematic factors for doing business in the Philippines is inadequate supply of infrastructure. 21% of respondents. Yung corruption, 17.8% lang. Yung inefficient government bureaucracy, 16.9% lang. Ito latest to, ah. Okay? Yung tax regulation, 8.6% lang. So yung infrastructure ang susi, ah in the competitiveness index. Ha? Now, pag tinignan mo railway, ang Pilipinas, out of 148 countries surveyed, the Philippines is number 89 with a very low score. Number 89. At nakakaintindi naman, I, I understand it. Isipin mo, 50 kilometers lang ang railroad natin, ang railway natin sa buong Pilipinas. Hindi pa natin sinasama MRT, LRT, pero ilan lang yon, ilang kilometro lang yon. So, isang daan siguro lahat yan, buong Pilipinas na yan. And most of them are in Metro Manila. Okay? So, ganun ka, and then PNR, nung araw, 1,100 kilometers from La Union to Legaspi. Ha? Ngayon, 50 kilometers na lang. Diba? So we don't want to repeat the same mistake. Kaya uh, to a certain degree, mabuti na rin na inab inabot natin ito. Ito maglalapse na yung charter ng PNR. We can take a second look at it. No? I'm just surprised that no one in the executive department, the DOTC, the DOF, the Department of Budget, have come to Congress to ask for the extension. Diba? At alam natin kung gaano kahalaga dapat ito. As you mentioned, you have, how many passengers do you have a day? About 100,000. 100,000, how many a year? Uh, mga 20 million po noong 2013. 2013. Oh, so siguro ito ang pinakamahihirap din na uh, uh, kababayan natin, di ba? Ha? Na umaasa sa mga ilang dito. Apa. Ha? Um, so, Madam Chair, I do not have... Uh, any more questions? I'd just like to uh, read the presentation again and I'll wait for the Department of Finance, the financial resources that they are willing to commit to the PNR so that kung tumalitin ito na maaga, ay baka naman may ilagay na rin natin sa just in case kung makahabol sila dito sa extension of the charter of PNR. I just want to inform you 
that we will file it as simple as possible, especially if they don't have the figures, so that we will not have a hard time because it's so hard to pass a bill in the Senate na three weeks. Diba? Kailangan walang masyadong question. And uh, I want to clear with you that I'm not filing a 50-year extension, parang 25 renewable to another 25 because ayoko na after 50 years, tsaka lang sila magre-review uli. In fact, they came here because it's expired. Walang, wala namang nanggaling sa kanila na effort that they want to review. Siguro, mas better yung 25 para at least babalik sila after 25 years to review uh, kesa naman mag-intay tayo ng 50 uh, Siguro naman, buhay pa tayo. <laughs> Baka ikaw buhay ka after 25 years. Okay. I, me, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to thank the yeah. Madam Chairman for giving time out to hear this proposal uh, mm -hmm. and uh, to talk to all our resource persons regarding this. Uh, alam kong mahabang panon ang binigay niya para pag-aralan itong PNR. Hindi ko nga maintindihan eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Madam Chair, thank you very much for giving this uh, importance. Uh -huh. And uh, I commit to assisting you in the floor debate yes, uh, when the okay. time comes next week. Yeah. Uh, to push for the extension of the franchise or the charter of the PNR. Thank you, Madam Chair, for your okay. effort. Thank you very much. Uh, we wish to thank Senator Rector for coming today. We know that we are in uh, recess and it's so hard to find a quorum nowadays. But I told him that uh, we cannot make it for the deadline uh, if you don't come today. So he went home from abroad to join this hearing so we should be able we should be thankful to Senator Recto for coming today okay, okay. Ready ka na? okay. I will continue on the hearing where uh, letting Senator Recto go because uh, yeah. Mama, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Senator I would like to thank you before you leave okay so uh, I just want to reiterate to the Department of uh, uh, transportation and communication that uh, we're really very surprised in the Senate that you didn't uh, really lift a finger. Uh, I, you know, I found out of this expiration of the franchise of uh, uh, PNR just this month, April. And I'm so surprised also why it was not uh, discussed with us earlier. That's why uh, we will be trying to file a simple bill as possible because we don't want it to be questioned on the floor uh, extensively because we have no time to, to be able to defend it on the floor. Uh, so uh, uh, that's our strategy. But uh, I'm so surprised. And I'm so surprised also na hindi alam ng DOF masyado yung details of your uh, relationship with PNR, magkano yung loan nyo sa PNR and all that. Kasi sabi mo, you will still review. When in fact kami, na-review na namin and alam namin kung magkano yung loans ninyo sa PNR. Yeah, ma, yes. uh, we have the ano, monthly reports from BTR which reflects yung um, NG advances made to in behalf of PNR and the uh, interest on NG advances. But we ha also have to consider yung plans and program nila for the medium term so that we can put it also in the capitalization include. Your answer is you have to review your advances. That means you're not sure about your advances. <laughs> eh, para, para hindi mo alam yung advances mo sa PNR, eh, wala kang masyadong alam. <laughs> Kasi dapat, ano yun, you memorize it by heart. You're coming here today. Parang yun yung the minimum you should know about uh, uh, your relationship with PNR na alam mo yung markano yung pautang mo sa PNR at magkano yung sin interest na sinisingil mo doon sa PNR. Kasi uh, very important yun. Before you can talk of, uh, kasi ang next question dito sa inyo is, uh, uh, ano ba balak nyo dito sa advances na to? Ito ba i-convert yung equity o Definitely, the PNR cannot pay 22 billion. So, ano ba balak dito sa advances nyo sa PNR na 22 billion? Iko convert nyo ba tong equity sa PNR or what? 
part of the equity, ma'am. Oh. So, yun ang plano nyo. Have you uh -huh. talked about it? Uh, so, we can say na if, uh, for example, there is interpolation on the floor, at tanungin nila to, I can say with confidence that sabi ng DOF, i-convert to sa equity. That is uh, our uh, initial recommendation from our group, but we have to discuss it with our boss. Uh, you have to discuss it yes. before we'll, next week. Yes. Kasi pag sagot namin, tinanong kami, Ano ba gagawin dito sa 22 billion na advances sa PNR? Eh, at least we can say na sabi ng DOF, eh, kukonvert daw nila sa equity. Kasi definitely, PNR cannot pay for this. ba? Based on their operation. Okay? So, ang, uh, ang question dito is uh, to the DOF is uh, what you have to find out is uh, okay, So, yun nga, ang unang question is, uh, will you be uh, converting these advances to equity? Okay? And then, uh, and then another question would be uh, for DOTC, DOF, DBN. In case you are not able to get, uh, I think you're finding uh, private or foreign investments sa uh, PNR. Kasi meron dito na sinabi nga na may study kayo na ginagawa. You, do you know of this study ng PPP, the Integrated Luzon Railway, prepared by CPCS Transcon Limited of Canada? May, alam niyo ba to? Yes, ma'am. Oh, eh, but hindi niyo, dala mo ba yung study na to? Tapos na ba tong study na to? Ma'am, uh, not yet, but we were informed that it was it is already in the final stages and eh, it will make the proper recommendations. Eh, lumabas na to sa website. Eh, kung matanong tayo dito, ano sasabihin natin? Uh, Ma'am, at present, um, um, they are still it's finalizing the details. It's just a study. Details. Yes, ma'am. They are finalizing the details and their, prop, their recommendations to the DOTC. But in the news, it says, we learned that you are already drumming up interest on this project by way of investment briefings. What are the responses of local and foreign investors? Would they be willing to invest billions of dollars to modernize PNR? Nag-ano na daw kayo dito eh, nag investment briefing. Pwede bang hindi tapos ang study, nag investment briefing na kayo? Um, Ma'am, I think there are, there are a few changes lang po kasi. There are a few clarificatory points that uh, the DOTC wishes to be clarified on dun sa gumagawa po ng study. O ngayon, halimbawa, may study na kayo, i-expire na yung PNI. Hindi ba responsibility nyo na pinadalhan nyo man lang kami ng ganitong study para at least may idea na kami? Sa website lang namin to nakita eh. Oh, ano ba yan? Kasi if you want to help us pass this bill, parang feeling namin sa committee, ang sole responsibility of trying to pass this bill sa amin. Parang hindi nyo kami tutulungan. Eh, when in fact, you're the beneficiary of the bill. Kaya ako lang ito pinaghihirapan. Ayoko masisin na yung aming committee, pinabayaan to na umexpire ang, ano, ang PNR charter. Pero actually, dapat sinabi nyo sa akin to last year, and then nag-meeting na tayo ng nag-meeting, pinamadali natin itong study na to para we could have reported a meaningful report sa Senate. Kaso, Walang nagsabi sa amin, sinabi sa amin ngayong month na to. Ano ba yan? Parang, parang nagka-feeling kami, and miskis si Senator Recto, na kami lang interesado dito kayo. I don't know if you're so uh, busy in your work, you have so much work to do, na hindi man lang kayo makapunta dito sa Senado, kahit isang ASEC nyo o isang USEC nyo, para sabihin sa amin na we have to work together to to extend the charter of PNR. Um, for Hindi that, totoo yung sinasabi nung tao na nagsabi sa'yo na uh, uh, kayo nagpunta rito sa Senate. Walang nag kumakausap sa akin. Miski isang tao, I have been here since July of 2013. Nobody has talked to me about PNR. And uh, I'm so disappointed. Oh, dapat magbago kayo dyan baka feeling nyo pinakamalakas kayo sa presidente kaya wala na kayong pakialam sa ibang tao ma'am of course po hindi naman po 
but eh, 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 bakit ganito to? I mean, I don't expect secretary to come here but at least pagpadala siya dito na USEC or ASEC man lang dito para mag-coordinate sa amin how we can defend this bill. I mean, bakit kami lang ang nagre-research dito and we have to go to the website to research? Ano ba yun? Oh, hindi ba kayo dapat nagbigay niyan sa amin? Kung hindi kami nagtingin sa website, ano sasabihin namin dito? Ah. Ba't ganun? Ma'am, we... Uh, so, we... I think uh, before Monday, you have to come here and tell me, give us these materials eh, para naman uh, alam namin tong materials na to. Kasi dito sa website nyo, you're drumming support for this. Eh, what is this ba? Oo. Oh. And then the question is, dapat inisap nyo din, ano bang form? Like, ano ba ang recommendation? Anong form? Is it joint venture? Is it a PPP na uh, uh, direct investment? Or PNR pa ba? O it's a PNR, uh, PPP, uh, uh, private partnership? I mean, we sh you should give us an idea of uh, how do you propose to rehabilitate PNR? Oh, PNR pa ba? Or kukuha na kayo ng private? Pagbibili nyo na sa private? Or will it be a joint venture? Or what? Uh, you must have an idea of what you want. Kasi tatanungin kami dito and ano sasagot namin. Kasi ang feeling ng lahat, eh, gusto nyo nang pa-expire ng charter para pagbibili nyo na lang yung PNR, pali-liquidate na lang at pagbibili. Yun ang feeling, ha? ng lahat ng tao, lahat ng tao ang tinanong ko, sabi niya, baka ayaw naman nilang ipa-extend ng charter kasi gusto na nilang i-dispose ang PNR. Yun ang feeling, ha? And these people who are giving me this opinion are not, uh, are intelligent people. Oh, so, uh, baka naman ganun talaga gusto nyo. Ma'am, uh, no, as I, as I mentioned po, uh, the DOTC wants the, the charter of the PNR extended oh, eh, but, uh, as much as possible. Oh, kasi parang wala kayong pakialam. Eh. Mm, uh, we In fact, no. you're here today because I invited you. Yeah. Oh, yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma hindi kayo nagpunta dito on your own. Yeah. Oh, para kausapin kami. Yeah. Ano ba to? Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So, I just want to remind you that kasi hindi naman dapat ganyan. Eh. Kasi this effort is not only, should, it should not be our effort only. It should be a joint effort of PNR, DOTC, DOF, and the Senate. Di ba? Hindi naman to dapat kami lang dito sa Senate ang nagkukumahog dito na mag-aral para ma-extend tong uh, PNR na to. Okay? Yes, ma'am. We will, we, we thank you, ma'am, for your uh, okay. thoughts. Okay. So, uh, we go on to yung, we have touched about yung uh, uh, advances ng DOF and uh, magdi-decide sila kung ano gagawin nilang, gagawin nila do sa advances and then they will decide on how much equity they're willing to give to PNR in case they're willing to give the equity. Okay, at least we will know that. And uh, I just want to... Uh, ask you na magbalansi kayo nung ano, para yung nakalagay sa financial statement ng PNR would be uh, in accordance with your records. Kasi baka mamaya may financial statement ng PNR, hindi naman tumatama do sa record ng DOF and ng Bureau of Treasury. Kasi kami nila, ang tagal-tagal namin nag-usapan tungkol do sa advances nila sa inyo and how much interest you ask them to pay with those advances. I just want to make sure na uh, nagkakaintindihan kayo of what we're talking about. Uh, so, I don't have to ask these questions. Tama ba na ang sinisingil niyong interest sa kanila is 0 0.87? 87 of the 12 billion. Ang advantage niyo is 22 billion, pero ang nilalagyan niyo lang ng interest yung 12 billion and it's uh, 0 0.80 percent. Ano ba? 0.8 percent. Tama ba yan? Revalued quarterly, ma'am. Kasi did... Uh, oh, but the, more or less. Kasi 103 million a year. 
yung uh, interest expense, di ba? Yes. So I was asking them how it became 103 million at eh, 22 billion eh, eh parang wala pang 1% yun and truly it's not even 1%. Tama ba yan? Oo. Less it's, than 1%. It's 0.2 to 7%. No? 0.8 7 to ba yun? It's uh, 0.827. Ayos naman, for the annual. Yeah, yes. yeah. 0.827 annual rate. Yes, annual rate Kasi nagtataka ako, 12 billion, ang interest lang is 103 million. So, sa ko, ano ba rate nyo? It's less than 1%. Yes, Truly, it's re really less than 1%. Yes, so, check. Uh, be sure lang na magbalansi yung records nyo kasi... Misa nakakahiya tayo magpipresent tapos yung records natin hindi naman papare-pareho. Okay? And another question is uh, this uh, ano, nire-recognize kasi nila yung gain on foreign exchange sa kanilang uh, ano, profit and loss statement. Dahil daw yung, say ko, may foreign exchange ba kayo? Sabi nila wala. Pero ito daw yung appreciation of the peso relative to the dollar dahil ang loan eh, sa other so, currencies. Other currency. Parang hindi ba, nag-agree ba kayo dito na nire-recognize to as uh, income? Eh, appreciation lang to, wala naman talagang income dito? Or you're using this to balance your balance sheet? Sa balance sheet lang po. Oh, balance sheet, yes, ano lang to. Balance Kaya, sheet, income. Oh, Oh, Pero doon sa actual, actual oh, gain of Para lang bumalansi yung yes. balance sheet. Pero huwag nyo sasabi, kasi ah, parang pag nilalagay nyo tong income, parang minamanipulate nyo yung income statement nyo na pinalalaki nyo ang income nyo. When in fact, this is not an income. This is just, uh, uh, nakakatipid kayo doon sa binabayaran nyo ng loan, Pag nag-a-appreciate ang peso, tapos yep. naglo-loss, lumalaki, binabayaran yung loan, pag na-depreciate ang peso. So, yes, you're using this just to balance your balance sheet. But never, dapat may indication kasi nilalagay nila sa profit and loss nila at pinalalabas nila malaki income nila from foreign exchange. And that's not true. They don't have any foreign exchange. Oh, nakalagay doon, gain from foreign exchange. Hindi nila sinasabi na uh, uh, loan lang yun. Uh, yung parang bumababa yung loan because of the foreign exchange fluctuation. Yes, Kasi kung hindi ka marunong magbasa ng financial statement, you would think that they own foreign exchange and they're gaining from it. Eh, that is a manipulation of your financial statement. Dapat may notes yun. Yes, Oh, kasi akala ko nung una kong basahin ng financial statement, meron ba kayong foreign exchange? but kayo may gain on foreign exchange? Oh. There's a footnote to the, pa the financial Dapat, statement. May footnote yon Kasi pag present uh, nila, parang evaluation. lumalaki ang income nila dahil yes, doon sa gain. Wala namang gain doon eh. Oh. That is just used to balance the yes, balance sheet para mag-accounting balance lang. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh. So, yun lang ang comment ko doon. Kaya mali yung ilalagay na other income. <laughs> mali yun. Kasi parang hindi tuloy nakikita yung true picture ng PNR. Na wala silang ganung income. Okay? Ngayon, uh, dito sa yung mga juice nyo from... Uh, GOCCs, okay? Yung meron silang utang sa COA for not paying yung auditing fees, okay? Meron silang due to BIR dahil hindi nila binabayaran ng kanilang withheld, with, tax withheld. Uh -huh. uh, due to GSIS dahil hindi nila binabayaran yung kanilang uh, ano tawag doon? Yung uh, premium ng kanilang mga empleyado o due to feel health dahil hindi nila binabayaran yung premium ng kanilang empleyado o dapat alam to ng GCG ha uh, para bantay <laughs> pag kami private hindi namin to ginawa, kulong kami eh bakit ito hindi nakukulong to 
ah, GCG kasi supposed to be ah, ah, kayo yung governance commission ah, good govern commission ah, governance commission you're making sure that, that they are following ah, good governance di ba oo so dapat ano tapos meron sila dito ang due to feel health of course i don't take it against them yung real property tax ng City of Manila. But I think that's why they're, they're charging you real property tax kasi pina, pina ano nyo yung ano eh, yung pinalist nyo yung ano eh, yung uh, ano tawag doon, kumikita kayo yung Tutuban Mall. Kaya siguro kayo sinisingil. Hindi for the rail. For the Tutuban Mall. Kasi kumikita kayo doon. Mali po yung computation ng area. Sinakot po nila yung public Katulad yung railway use ng, for railway use, sinama nila doon sa area ng subject to tax. Dapat po yung, kung, ano lang, yung area lang. Ng, kung ano lang yung area ng Tutuban Mall. At saka nung isa. Yun lang po dapat, ang, at saka yung pong isang ram oh. na maliit. Oh. Ayun, sinacharge po kami, pati yung mga railway line, Kasi no, na, stations. Kasi ko, unfair naman na i-charge kayo oh. sa railway because it's for public good. Pero bigla akong naisip na sabihin mo sa akin may other income ka. Kaya siguro sinisingil ng Manila because you have a tutuban mall na kumikita kayo doon. So, it's natural kung kumikita kayo doon, sisingiling kayo ng city of Manila. Tama po. Oh. Tama po. Mali lang po yung kanilang... Computation ng so, tax. So, may, may kaso kayo dito? Meron po. Oh. Okay. And, uh, and then, this one is uh, yung due to Philippine Ports Authority na binigyan kayo ng pera para gawin nyo tapos hindi nyo ginawa. So, may utang kayo sa Philippine Ports of Authority. Eh, ito ba alam ng GCG? Alam nyo ba to? Itong mga ito? Alam nyo lahat to? Oh, I just want to inform you kasi hindi ba nire-review nyo sila for good governance every year. So, grabe to. Kasi w when a company is not even uh, capable of paying uh, BIR for tax withheld or GSIS premium or PhilHealth premium, may problema tayo dito. <laughs> kasi paano kung biglang mag-retire yung mga empleyado at hindi sila member ng GSIS, eh, hindi sila makakakuha ng kanilang ano. Actually, Senator, in the performance commitment of PNR with the GCG last year, as of 2013, they were supposed to settle the liabilities with GSIS from 2006 to 2009. Okay. And for this year, one of the performance commitments of PNR is to settle the 22 billion liabilities okay. with DOF. According to PNR last year, they will execute a memorandum of understanding with DOF. Yeah, I think matter. they're doing that. But I'm just telling you so that uh, you will always, ano, look into this kasi hindi maganda to. Okay? And then, uh, another one is yung uh, due from employ officers and employees, 148 million. And the major here is the uh, claim from a previous general manager na may kaso kayo. What happened to that case? Kasi ang major dito, this is 148 million. Ang major dito is uh, yung ano, yung 100 plus million na due from uh, from uh, your previous manager parang COA disallowance uh, perhaps you're referring to madam uh, uh, in the sale involving a property in the Gupan uh, Mr. Jose Maria Sarasola, the former general manager of PNR, has just totaling more than 131 million. That's correct, madam. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, uh, this allowance arising from a sale of a real property of PNR because under the uh, COA report, uh, the property should have been valued at 12,600 per square meter, but it was only sold at 2,800 per square meter. So the difference is more or less 106 million. Uh, a case was filed against Mr. Sarasola by, 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 in fact, it was initiated by, by our um, union. So the way I understand it, the case uh, prospered and probable cause was, was found. But later on, Mr. Sarasola was able to secure a reversal by way of motion for reconsideration. But just two weeks ago, madam, uh, we received uh, a warrant of arrest 
for the arrest of Mr. Sarasola for 89 counts of uh, uh, graft and corrupt practices. We have to go to uh, second division of uh, Sandigan Bayan to verify what the case is about. Uh, if uh, you lost the case, then you remove that from your books. Yeah. <laughs> if you're winning the case, then it can be in your book. So, tinatanong ko sa inyo, kasi some people say that, said that you lost the case. So, bakit nasa books nyo yun? Ngayon, kung sinasabi mo naman na may pag-asa yung case, then we can retain that in your books. We, we have to verify if the criminal case uh, uh, is the same as this COA yeah. report. But again, uh, despite the loss in the criminal case, uh, it does not prohibit PNR to go after Mr. Sarasola in so far as civil case is concerned. Uh, we have already uh, initiated the, 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 the gathering of evidence because all of these, madam, are inherited uh, cases. Okay. Okay. So we are, in fact, initiating in, with the help of the union, madam. Kasi nasa books nyo yung uh, due from employees. Mm -hmm. And it's 148 million. It's substantial. And then when we look into it, ang 130 million nun, isang tao lang. So sabi ko, minor lang naman yung iba, but that one person, we have to report on because that is material. That's right. Dun sa 148, di ba? So right. you have to make a report on that kasi yes. that's important to us kasi material yun eh. So may we, maybe you can write a report on that so yes. that when we were asked, then we are asked in the future, then we can answer. Oh. Okay, so uh, we go now to the private, to the other, uh, the questions to the other people which whom we invited today so that they can say their piece naman about the extension of the charter of the PNR. We have invited Mr. Edgar Bilayon, President of the PNR Employees Union. Yeah, can you make a stand? National Life of the Philippine National Railways. And if you may allow me, I have the Philippine National Railways for another 50 years. His noble act in that of the Joint Committee the Committee on Government Corporations and Public Enterprises and the Committee on Public Services conducting this public hearing will be remembered not only by the PNR employees and their families, but also the Philippine masses who will continuously be served by PNR. Thus, in compliance with the request of the Joint Committee, we submit our position on the matter. Madam Chairman, on the extension of the corporate life of PNR for another 50 years, of course, our union welcome and fully support this bill. Can you give us your position paper so it will yes. form part of the record? Yes, we'll be okay. submitting it afterwards. Thank Madam you Chair. very much, Mr. Bilayon. We call now on uh, Engineer Nestor Imperial Jr., Assistant Provincial Planning. Uh, good afternoon, Paul. My name the uh, medium term development plan of the uh, Meda Region 4A, uh, the availability of train service, which is being operated by the PNR since 1964, help develop new growth areas or uh, centers such as Calamba, San Pablo, Luciana City, Diet, Naga, and Legaspi as major uh, town centers in their respective provinces. With the help of railway system, the industry in Calamba prospered also in San Pablo, uh, citrus and livestock in Batangas, uh, dried fish in Lucena, and uh, coconut as well as abaca industries in Bicol and Quezon. The train also allowed employees residing in uh, uh, Laguna and Quezon to travel to Manila for work in the most uh, cheapest way. This transport mode also became a key facilitator of economic growth and development in those areas. The development made by the uh, uh, train service during its existing existence and operation uh, from to the Bantu Beagle, uh, the, the provincial government of Quezon is in favor for the approval of Senate Bill Number 1831 introduced by Senator Rap Recto, which uh, seeks for the extension of the corporate life of the Philippine Nas National Railways for uh, another 50 years. Thank you.
So, uh, may we ask you to give us your position paper para uh, ano, makasama doon sa ating justification. Yes, ma'am. Ma Email ko na lang sa inyo, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ito kaya Thank sa you. aming ComSec, okay? Yes, ma'am. We would like to hear from uh, Attorney Diane Dizon of MMDA. Good afternoon po, Your Honor. Um, basically, MMDA is um, one of our mandates is with regards to traffic management, Your Honor. So, um, if this bill will be, ex uh, if PNR um, franchise will be extended, it would greatly help as to traffic management. However, um, upon hearing from you, Your Honor, um, I would have to um, uh, give a post report to Chairman as to the um, what was discussed because um, I think uh, you would have the same um, belief of reducing the 50 years to 25 considering the um, present condition of PNR. However, um, that is not yet the formal um, position because um, we haven't submitted yet our position paper, but um, we will submit it, Your Honor, um, within five days. Be sure to submit it before, at the latest Friday, <laughs> all your position paper, because we're going to file the bill on Monday. Apa. Okay? Apa. So, yun lang. And then, uh, we want to hear from the private sector, Ms. Gloria Alicia Veloso, member of the Chamber of Commerce, of Metro Naga Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Okay. Good afternoon, Chairman, uh, Your Honorable Chairman. I'd like to thank you for inviting the Chamber into this uh, hearing. And I was sent by the Chairmanship from the Metro Naga Chamber of Commerce, which is a local chamber of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industries. And it is our belief that the PNR has spurred economic growth in the, in the region, and therefore we would uh, like to uh, express our full support, full support uh, with regards to the extension of the life of PNR. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you put your stand in writing? So we that, will do that. Uh, it will form part of the support of the extension of the charter. Oh, thank you. And then we just want to ask some questions. The last question fr from the North Trail. Sino ba yung representative ng North Trail dito? Oh, sige. So, ano ba yung sa mga question dito sa North Trail? Uh, kasi may relationship yung uh, uh, PNR and North Trail. Kasi yung North Trail, ang gagamitin nilang uh, uh, tracks ay yun sa PNR, di ba? So, we just want to be updated. Ano ba yung plano ng North Trail in the future? Para at least, will it be part of PNR or they will do it on their own or they will dissolve North Luzon Railway? So, can we ask from the legal counsel of the North Rail para mag-explain. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Um, we are um, still seeking, uh, actually North Rail has uh, written several letters to uh, DOTC uh, regarding our um, some directive, Your, uh, Your Honor, about um, our, its plan for the um, North Rail project, Your Honor. So, hindi nyo rin alam kasi hindi kayo binibigyan ng direction ng DOTC? Yes, Your Honor. But um, um, I think about a month ago, Your Honor, um, we, we received um, an, a special order from P, some, from DOTC um, designating our president, uh, the president of um, North okay. Rail, as uh, one of the um, resource persons for the um, North-South Railway Commuter Express uh, project. Ano ang plano ng DOTC sa North Trail? Ma'am, um, um, during the initial discussions for the North-South Commuter Project, uh, for the North component um, of the line, which will end, I think, in Malolos, Bulacan, um, North Trail will really be involved, whether, whether as a uh, pre-operations manager for the construction of the project or um, 
maybe um, if it is within their mandate as a regulator or even as a um, as a partner to whoever to whoever wins that PPP part of the project. But definitely North Rail will be involved, especially when it comes to the north uh, northern road. Uh, if if yeah, it, it will come from. You're correct, ma'am. Kaluokan ba? Tumalolos. Kaluokan tumalolos, ma'am. So, uh, um, basically, ma'am, yun pa lang yung napag-uusapan as far as North Rail is uh, concerned. Uh, when we iron out the details for the North-South commuter project and then eventually the integrated Luzon Railway project, mm -hmm. uh, makikita po namin yung... So, yung ibig sabihin mo, ang North Rail ang will take care of that part of the North. Yes. And it will not be under PNR. PNR will take care of the South. Um, that is, yes, ma'am. That, kumbaga, yun po yung mga, some of the options that we are toying with, some of the ideas that we are toying with. So, the, I think uh, when you go home tomorrow to your office, you better talk to the secretary and uh, medyo mag-stand naman kayo ng more definite than that. Kasi pag kami nagpunta sa floor, tatanungin ka na, na kami, medyo nakakahiya naman yung sinasabi nyo na, Lahat walang sigurado. ba? Parang at least kung may plano man kayo, sabihin nyo na medyo disidido kayo doon sa plano nyo. Hindi tayo pwedeng baka sakali, ganun-ganun. Napakapangit uh, for a government agency na humarap sa, sabi nyo, disidido kayo extend ang charter ng PNR. Parang nakakahiya man sa atin na haharap tayo doon. Eh. Lahat ng sinasabi natin, eh, baka sakali, maybe, ganun-ganun. Eh, makipag-usap ka doon sa yung sekretary at medyo tigasan nyo naman ng konti yung stand nyo that if you're really, ano, kasi kung hindi kayo makukuha ng private, di kayo, pangatawanan nyo na, North, North Trail, you will do this, South Trail, you will do this, and then we will extend sa, ano, para dumating naman tayo doon sa pag-defend natin nung charter ng PNR, mukha naman tayong disidido. Hindi, hindi tayo parang bakla na hindi, wala tayong plano, di ba? Eh, hindi naman kami pwedeng ganun. Ako naman mapapahiya sa mga senador na mga sagot ko eh. Hindi naman ayos, di ba? Yes, ma'am. For... Uh, I think you have to come before, you have to, I have to see you before Monday. Yes, ma'am. And then, uh, mag-usap tayo na matino dito dahil uh, ako naman, tutulungan ko lang kayo maipasa to. Eh, wag niyo naman akong ipahiya. Yes, ma'am. Kasi we'll do that. medyo uh, ayusin naman natin ang defense nito kasi uh, kami naman ang mapupulaan sa Senado na dinidefend natin ng something na hindi naman disidido yung, yung nag, 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 nanghihingi. Di ba? Naka, parang lumalabas, kami lang ang may gusto kayo. Wala naman kayong support sa amin. Hindi pwede yun. Uh, kasi ako... Uh, Kaya ako lang pinupush to. Ayoko namang masisi ng mga tao, lalo na nakita mo naman sila. sabi mo kay Secretary na naandyan ng Taganaga, Taga Quezon, MMDA, uh, kanilang, uh, uh, ano tawag dito, yung kanilang uh, labor sector na lahat sila very supportive of, ano, ito kasi private sector to, na in spite na pinutol nyo yung, yung inyong uh, uh, service sa Bicol, Hoping pa rin sila na wala silang sinasabi na bad sa PNR, no? Hoping that PNR will resume its operation by, sabi mo, September or October, September, di ba? Magta-trial ka ngayon June and you will resume yung Bicol by September. Oo. So, kahit sila ganun na tinanggalan nyo ng line, eh, very supportive pa rin sila. We have to give it to our people na Natutuwa ako kahit na nakakainis na kayo eh supportive pa rin sila, di ba? Oh, kaya naman in fairness, dapat kayo naman DOTC, you give your heart and uh, tulungan kami to defend this kasi wag na tayo magsasalita na baka sakali, ganun ganun. Ano tayo? Magmatigas tayo na pangangatawanan natin tong PNR. No matter what, whether makakuha tayo ng PPP or or ano, hindi tayo makakuha. 
at least within our means, hindi naman ganun kahirap ang Pilipinas, na unti-unti i-rehabilitate natin ang PNR. Eh, yun lang naman iniintay ng... Ano, eh, kasi kung pupunta tayo sa, sa Senado, tapos wala naman tayong long-term plan na ah, hindi naman tayo disidido, ba't pa tayo humihingi ng charter? Di liquidate na lang natin to. Eh, sabi mo naman, ayaw nyo naman i-liquidate. Oh. Eh, medyo... Uh, ilakas natin ang loob natin at sabihin natin, disidido tayo. Di ba? Gumawa kayo ng plano na kahit na hindi tayo patulan ng mga investor, eh, kahit sa government resources lang, itry natin improve ang PNR. Di ba? Yun lang. And so, uh, uh, we're ending our hearing. Uh, I just want to remind everybody that we're filing this bill on Monday, May 5. So, Everything that we have asked you to uh, communicate with us, you have to do it by Friday because uh, we're all uh, uh, lacking in time. And sana maging supportive naman lahat ng sector because this is for all of us. Di ba? The benefit will be for all of us. So medyo supportahan nyo naman kami uh, para naman yung defense natin sa... Uh, extension of the charter of PNR image. Maganda naman. Sige. Thank you very much. Ganun din po ako at ang PNR. Nagpapasalamat. Maraming salamat po sa mga sumuporta sa pag-extend ng PNR charter. Maraming salamat po.
ko. Kahapon lang, ito ha, kahapon lang, natagpo ang patay yung driver niya. At sigurado ko, siya ang pumatay doon. Alam mo, pumatay.